Let's do an update on the S&P and take a look and see if this correction is likely over. And then what's next? And do we expect anything big happening or is the market going to stay boring? So based upon what we've said before, <clears throat> we said that the rally that began in October is continuing and that we expected higher prices. And this is still the case, expecting higher prices into March, mid-March to late March. This week, however, the market now on the, we're talking the 20th of uh, February on Monday night. This week, we're probably going to see continued correction until the end of the month. There could be a little bounce for a day or so, but then by the end of the week, we expect to see the prices lower than last Friday. And I'm not sure, but I think the 3950 area is a likely prospective target, followed by after the 28th of February, a rally. The rally may start then. I have cycles that come in on the 27th and another cycle that comes in on March 8th. But in March, the first half of March, we expect to see a rally and probably a meaningful rally. So much so that it'll be clear that the rally is continuing and that the bear market is not. Um, and then what? Okay. After this high in March, this is the first and only time that we expect to see a potential nasty correction that continues in April into May, possibly into June. How big will it be? Well, it's likely to correct the whole move from October until March. So it's conceivable that we could see a correction that could go as low as the uh, 3,500 low in, um, in October, although I don't expect that. I expect it to be probably 61% correction of the whole up move, which could take us down into the 3,800 area. Possibly we will reach the 4,300 area in uh, the middle of March or late March. And so from 4,300 down to 3,800, it's a decent sized correction. It's a little more than 10%. So that's what we're looking for. And then, of course, our longer term forecast was after May, possibly June, a really nice, strong up move until October and December of 2023. OK, just remember, your trading is your responsibility. I can be wrong and past performance does not guarantee future performance. So we're not off track. There's been a hesitation in February. But if you look at it, it's like a coiling spring. It's just uh, it's kind of a sideways market. It may have one or two sharp down days this week to get people a little bit off the track of the next up move. But then after the 27th of February, probabilities are favoring a rally. All righty. Now, we're giving our class. We started our most recent master class, and, uh, and it's ongoing. We had our first lesson on the weekend. It was very, very successful. But there's still a chance if someone's interested, I may do a makeup because there's one person who didn't quite make it to that class and wanted it. So there's still a chance if you sign up this week and the sign up stuff is underneath to just take a look at what's projected. You need to make a phone call to me. Then you still can sign up and catch up with this group. All righty. Why don't you give us a thumbs up while you're at it? Good luck to you this week and uh, we'll see you soon.